Hey guys, what's up? This is Hex, and today I am going to be giving you a bit of a tour of Morrowind. Now, why you might be asking? Well, this is not necessarily for, you know, people that's been playing for years. You already, no doubt, know everything I'm going to tell you. Um, but for beginners who are still exploring, this is going to give you uh, a bit of, uh, of insight on what to expect, you know, in terms of visuals. You know, just basically the lay of the land. Um, the Mar Morrowind chapter came out a few years ago, and, uh, it focused more on the zone of Vardenfell, but what some people don't realize is that the, that some of Morrowind is actually included in the base game, and that's Stone Falls as well as Deshaun. So I'm going to be taking, you know, uh, you know, look, just showing you what they look like, as well as some of the... You know, striking locales that I feel that you might be interested uh, in visiting, you know, as you're kind of running around and exploring the area. Now, if we take a look at the map, you know, on the very top, the bigger landmass, that is going to be Vardenfell. And on the uh, the second one will be uh, Stone Falls, and then below it will be Deshaun. So what we're going to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and start with... Uh, Stone Falls first. As you can see, Stone some of Stone Falls is this, this like very barren, rocky, craggy you know land, and a lot of that has to do with you know volcanic activity, which is uh, prevalent in Morrowind. Um, you'll see like ash, you know, rain down. It kind of looks like snow, as well as if you look over here. Uh, you'll see like, you know, free flowing lava that you, as a beginning character, you definitely do not want to fall in unless you want to die quickly. Uh, veteran players can withstand it because they have, you know, protection as well as, you know, potions and uh, some healing abilities. Uh, but still, you don't you don't really want to drop down in it. Uh, but not everything is, you know, like a desolate wasteland. You do have some, you know, grasslands in some areas uh you have like these really weird kind of scraggly looking trees as well as you know the giant mushrooms which which is typical of uh of morrowind um nothing overly you know what i consider to be you know overly foresty uh that's more towards you know the western uh side of tamrail um but the uh but locales that you may want to look out for is uh Davin's Watch, which I'm currently writing in right now, as well as uh, Ebonheart, and uh, two world bosses, which are difficult bosses, but I still feel that they need attention drawn to, is the uh, Shivering Shrine and the Cave of Memories. Those two you often find uh, people asking for help on it all the time. Very challenging if you're looking for a, for a, uh, a bit of a challenge, uh, and uh, highly recommended. And here we are in Deshaun. Um, as you can see, the trees are a lot thicker here. Uh, of course, you have the, the mushrooms. I feel that visually, this is probably, you know, out of, you know, Stonefalls and Deshaun, this is probably more visually pleasing uh, to players. Um, the uh, areas that I, that I think you should visit, of course, are Mournhold, where you will meet uh, one of the three living gods, which is on Malexia, which I'm not going to go too much in detail about that because, you know, that's part of a, you know, a side story. As well as the Daunted Camp that's outside of, uh, that's outside of Mournhold. And the uh, Mastercraft Mediator, uh, who you go, who's also outside of uh, the walls of, uh, of Mournhold, that you turn in your, uh, your Master Crafting Ritz um, to get your vouchers. And lastly, here we are in Vardenfell. Um, to me, Vardenfell, I think, is the most interesting out of the three. Um, just in terms of, like, there's just so much strangeness going on. Like, you know, there's a lot of weird plants. Uh, the mushrooms are bigger, even to the point where you have some people that are living inside them, like as in, you know, homes. And just, like, a lot of, you know, weird creatures. Um... Vardenfell also suffers from like a from you know volcanic activity as well, so there are going to be some areas 
uh, that you'll see that are going to be pretty much, you know, <laughs> barren, uh, barren wastelands, you know, just due to lava flow and so on. Um, the two uh, areas that I think are interesting out in this map are uh, Vivek City, which, you again, you're going to be meeting another uh, one of the three living gods, and this is Vivek. And as well as there's going to be a public dungeon here. Um, and this is probably, I find, to be one of the best public dungeons in ESO, hands down. This is just my opinion, mind you. So, so if you have a different opinion on that, you know, just go ahead and put it in the comment uh, section below. Uh, I'm not, I, I can't really pronounce the name because this is going to be a dwarven one. Uh, so I'm going to be putting it on the screen now so you can see specifically what it is. But that's all I wanted to talk to you guys for today. Give me a thumbs up if you, if you like this video. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, I just want to get your impressions of this video. You know, like, do you do you want more of this kind of, of, uh, of style video? Um, if you do, just please uh, leave a comment in the section below. And uh, I will uh, try to do maybe another uh, land mass at some point. Uh, but I hope to talk to you guys real soon. Take care.